This short demonstration is about how to straighten a bent needle. This needle here has become badly bent and uh, I wanted to show you how you can straighten a needle very very easily using a nail file and the handle of the airbrush. And uh, So it's one of these things that it's not ideal it's always best when you damage a needle to put a new one in but on a Sunday you've dropped the airbrush and you've bent the needle and it's you don't have a backup this will get you by it'll keep you going until you can eventually get a new needle now I thought I should uh, zoom in and show you just how badly bent it is so you can see what's, uh, what we're dealing with. And you can see there that that's quite badly bent. Most needles usually have just a tiny little hook on the, on the end, but this is a much more serious bend, and you can see as I spin the needle that uh, you can see how badly bent it is. Now, straightening it is pretty straightforward. The first thing I do is I take the handle off an airbrush and holding the needle at the same angle as the needle taper and using a very uh, smooth round surface object like this I'm able to roll the needle in, I'm able to roll it between my fingers and largely straighten it. And I find the smoother and harder the surface that I work on, such as the melamine tabletop here, the better. And I'm able to just spin the needle underneath and that has largely straightened it. And when I say largely, it's now got it reasonably straight. I usually look under a very powerful magnifying glass such as uh, this and I can see exactly what needs to be done now once you've got it reasonably straight then all you have to do, and that usually can get you by, but I find that the, this, even this handle will leave small marks and uh, what's best is to finish off using a nail file such as this. I wet it and this is a very fine grade and I'm going to roll it between my fingers and be moving it backwards and forwards and I'm holding it at the same angle as the taper of the needle. Now the reason for using the nail file that I show you here, which is the foam filled one, is that it's got lots of give. It's very spongy and it means that if I push a little bit too hard that I'm not going to, well hopefully not damage the needle. Now this is an ultra fine file. It's a polisher and uh, it's very important that you use incredibly fine materials. This is a sharpening stone and people think that they can use needles on these and the damage they do is virtually permanent. You cannot use sharpening stones. You need to be using incredibly fine uh, buffers, uh, polishes, things that have an incredibly fine grit to them that aren't going to scratch the needle you're, so much, you're wanting to polish the needle. And so I'm rolling it between my fingers, rubbing it backwards and forwards, and I'm pressing at just the right angle of the actual needle taper itself. And there we have it, a straight needle. <clears throat> when I spin this, You'll now see that it's uh, just wipe all the grit from the 
and that's a relatively straight needle. It's not perfect and I would like to work on it more but you get the principle and you can spend probably 10-15 minutes working on the needle making sure that it's nice and straight. It's not something that you're going to get right in 10 seconds in front of a video camera but with a little bit of patience and care you can restore a needle that was what you would consider to be a total write-off. That's usable. That's quite usable. That's no longer badly bent. That's it.